What's up guys? Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's your coach, friend, and mentor, Scotty Hobbs. I have a quick message for you guys. Your health will inspire people. And then join my team. Uh, this is a free shirt that I got. Gabby got one as well for helping at least three people get started on their health and fitness goals last month. And you know, that goes with the extrinsic reward and intrinsic rewards. Both are important uh, in our lives, like rewards, accolades, income, recognition, all that stuff are the extrinsic rewards. Uh, a free shirt, for example, but the intrinsic rewards are things that will keep you for the long haul committed to your goal and your mission, and that is the, the feeling that you get inside from helping somebody else. And that's the thing I love most about being a coach. I have a message today that I wanna share with you guys after having a conversation with two elders, two LDS or Mormon missionaries, they visit us about once, once a, every other week or so. We feed them uh, tw once or twice a, a month, and we always have our home open to them. If their dinner reservation um, or appointment gets canceled, we say, hey, we're home. Uh, let us know anytime that you need to eat. So we've done that a few times, but we're having a conversation with them last night, and there's a new elder. He's been on his mission for a year and a half, and he is from Maui. And I, I just love this guy in the fact of he asks great questions. Last night he was asking us, uh, well, I brought him into my office. Gabby wasn't here yet. And they were looking at um, the things on the wall and, and asking questions. And he saw this quote right here. Uh, he wanted to take a picture of it. It says, I'll, I'll leave it up there. But it says, success is not a rank or an income. It's knowing your purpose, showing up daily, working on yourself, and planting seeds in, in other people. And he loved that. And he took a picture of it because that can apply to any area of our life. Um, what is success really? And so many times success is just determined by your position inside of a company or your job title or your income. And that's not truly what success is. And as we were sitting with our family, we were with them for a little over an hour last night. He was asking questions. He said, what is it exactly that you do? So I explained to him how I help people with their health and fitness goals, help them have amazing transformations uh, with their mind, body, and spirit. And then on the other side, I said, and then once I help them transform their life like that, then I teach them how to help other people in the same manner and fashion that I help them. That's the gist of it. And I kind of explained that to him and he's like, oh, that's really cool. And we didn't really talk about income, but he began to, he, to say like, hey, I just moved from an area um, on the east side of Idle Falls, uh, where I served up on the hillside where the windmills are up on the hills and there's these different estates and they're really fancy homes. He's like, these are the wealthiest people in Idle Falls. And I always ask them, what do you do? Do you enjoy your job? And I asked them for advice because he was like, in six months, I'm going home and I need to pick what I want to do with my life. And he said, many of these guys are the, are the wealthiest people. I have these big homes. And he said, I asked him what they do. Some are, are eye doctors, some are anesthesiologists, uh, dentists. He's met many orthodontists. And he was like, I asked them, because they have these beautiful homes. They have boats and they have their campers parked out front. And, and they have beautiful families. And they say, and he asked them, you know, what advice would you give to me when I go out to school after my career? And he asked them, do you enjoy your job? And not one of them said, said yes said, no, I don't really enjoy all the aspects of it. Whether it's uh, too many hours or um, too much time away from the family or whatever it is. And he asked me the same question. He's like, man, like uh, just sitting here, you've been doing your career for eight years and you're, I just see your excitement. You're like popping out these pictures of, of people you've helped transform. And I'm like, yeah, look at this. This is my buddy from high school. And yeah, and this, and we're going to this, um, event in two and a half weeks in Indianapolis, 25,000 of us are going to be there. And I'm like running them down to the base. So I was like, check out this gym. I'm going to bring you, you're going to come work out with me on Monday morning on your preparation day. And he's like, man, I just don't see, um, from the people that have asked people that love their work so much. And we didn't even talk about, you know, how much we make or whatnot uh, in that aspect. But they, he does know that this humble home that we live in is paid for and so forth. But so he was, the, the advice I gave him is when you go after and choose what you want to do with your career, don't base it off of how much income you, you, you're you going to make because of that field or that career. Make sure that you do something that you love because you can have all the money of the, in the world, but you're never going to be happy if you're miserable or not happy doing what you do for the next, you got to realize your career is what you're going to do for the next 40 to 50 years. So you better enjoy it. So that was the advice that I gave him. And one blessing that I want to share with you guys this morning 
and give a little perspective to this opportunity of building something part-time. Keep your job, keep your full-time job, stay in school, but your health will inspire people. You can get healthy. I'm 36 years old, almost 37, and the fittest, healthiest, happiest I've ever been in my life as a father of five. And we're building an income uh, doing something that we love and something I'm truly passionate about. Like no one has to twist my arm to come talk to you guys and teach you guys this morning. Nobody has to twist my arm to answer my text and help one of my new coaches share their story publicly on Facebook. So that's what I love about this. But a, a blessing that came up is my two daughters were able to, you know, I've always been like, oh, this is such a blessing. I could put my daughter in Taekwondo. Uh, three of my daughters are in dance classes and I've been like in they're in soccer and we just signed them up for fall soccer and I'm like this is so amazing that I have the extra income because of what I do as a coach to be able to do that but it really blew my mind the other day when my two daughters on Friday tried out for the competition dance team now that's a whole new level for you guys that are dance moms and dads you might know about this but one of them made two of the competition teams and one of my daughters made one of the competition teams Gabby went to sign them up, get their costumes, get their outfits, and pay their monthly tuition. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly what that amount is that we had to pay for them to get into that, but what I will tell you is the amount that Gabby wrote the check for was the same, it would have took her 32, 32, 32 weeks of a full-time, 40 hour weeks at her Hilton Garden Inn job at the front desk as a receptionist, 32 weeks to pay for those two girls to get into their competition dance team. But on the other hand, her business alone, not my team beach body business, her team beach body business alone paid that tuition with three weeks and two days worth of pay. I want you to let that sink in. And as I share this with you guys, my first, I'm eight years in, but my first year, I worked my butt off every single day helping people transform their life with these programs. I was working a 12 hour day, I was at part time at night, eight o'clock every night, I would just work and help people and call people and support people and uplift people and encourage people to accomplish their goals with their health and fitness. And at the end of that entire year, I only made, only made $10,800, okay? But guys, that was $10,800 that I could make from my couch with my laptop instead of going out and getting another job and leaving my family and my kids in the home alone for even more time than I was already leaving them at the 12 hour a day job that I already had. So guys, I want you to put in this perspective. You don't have to build a six figure income. You don't have to leave your job to build a Team Beachbody business part time or on the side. You stay doing your job, you stay in school, you stay growing in that career, but you spend your extra time, instead of watching Netflix, you spend your extra time helping people, working on your own health, doing your own personal development, growing yourself, being around people that are amazing and encouraging and gonna support you and uplift you, and then you're gonna help other people. And the freaking cool part about that is Beachbody is gonna pay you to do that from your home. So I want you guys to put that in perspective, think about that just a little bit. And guys, I'm taking on uh, five new coaches that I'm gonna mentor in this next month of June as we get ready to go to Indianapolis. And I'm gonna get some amazing information, new training to help you guys best. Uh, if that's you, please send me an email. Email's in the description below. Have an incredible day. If this helps you in any way or helps your teams in any way, please share it. Please subscribe because I'm here to add value to your life and help plant those seeds of growth in you. Love you guys and peace.